Okay, so after you look at this picture up on the projector, when you see this picture, what vocabulary word do you think of? Feast. Why does the word feast come to mind? Because there's a lot of food. Can you say that in a complete sentence for me? Uh, there is a lot of food on, on the table, so it looks like a feast of food. Okay, very good. Okay, and what else do you see in this picture besides food? Uh, colors. Colors, but can you name a noun? The tablecloths. Okay, tablecloth. Okay. What and else? And the plates. The plates. Okay. Is there any other words that you can think of? Uh, the, the desserts. Okay. There may be desserts there. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay, so the let's meat. see. I'm sorry? The meat. The meat. Okay, very good. And the vegetables. The vegetables. So you, and what was the word that you said that represents? Feast. Uh? What is the word that represents this picture? Feast. Feast. So let's see if you're correct. Feast, you are correct, okay? okay. So let's go to the next picture. What word did you think that this picture represents? Guilt? Guilty? Uh -huh. Why do you put guilt? I don't know. <laughs> so why looks, do you think... He looks uh, sad or like if he did something that he that, that he did, did something wrong, maybe? Okay. And so how does he feel? Guilt. guilt. Uh-huh. So he has a sense of uh, guilt, or he may look guilty, okay? So let's see if you're right. Guilt, very good. Okay, and what word does this picture represent? Uh, could, occasion. Occasion, why? Do you think it represents occasion? Because there's a lot of people there and looks like they're they are having a good time. Can I ask you a question? That's a good answer. But do you think you should start a sentence with the word because? Because um, start a sentence like do you, uh, do you want me to repeat? Uh -huh. okay. Do you think you should start a sentence with the word because, or should you choose a different word? I, I should choose a different word. Okay. Can you tell me the, tell me what you just said about the picture and why it represents occasion without using the word because in the beginning of okay. the sentence? It looks like they are having a good time because there's people playing and cooking. Okay. Can you tell me why this picture represents the word occasion? Why? Uh -huh. mm. So what is what is the subject that you're talking about? What is it's a person, place, or thing? Your subject. So it's a. Uh, so this, it's a place. Okay. This picture represents the word occasion because there is a family cooking together 
uh, for something special. Okay? Do you understand? Yeah. Instead of saying because uh -huh. or it is, those are good statements. Those are good observations that you made about the picture. But I want to try to help you to use the right word in the right part of the sentence. Okay. Okay? So you said occasion. Very good. Okay, so let's look at the next picture. And what word does this picture represent? Uh, that is consider. Okay, can you tell me that in a complete sentence? Though? Okay. Uh, uh, I think it's consider. I think. Wh what is it? It. I think it's consider. I think it's it's considered because the woman. Right, hold on. I'm gonna stop you. I'm sorry. Okay. But when you say I think it is considered, can you tell me specifically what it is? Is it a chair? What are you talking about when you say it? Okay. It's a woman. Okay. But what are we talking about in general? What are you looking at? Refer to your objectives. What are you looking at? Objectives. She is... Wait, hold on. When I ask you a question, listen to all the parts of the question. What picture does this word represent? Um. And you told me, consider. But I said, I want you to say it in a complete sentence. Um, I don't understand the word. So that this good. picture, this picture, represents the word consider. consider. Okay. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. What was my my question at first was what picture does this what picture what word what word thank you yeah. represents this picture. Do you see how I use the words in the question to make my sentence? This picture represents the word consider. consider. What word represents this picture? This picture represents Sense the word, word consider. This picture represents the word occasion. This picture represents the word feast. Okay? okay. Always take the words in your question and put it in your answer. Okay. Okay. to make it a complete sentence, okay? So let's see, why do you think it's considered? Okay, I think it's considered because she is uh, looking at something and consider, considering or... Okay, what is to consider? What to is think? To, to think. To think about. About something. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's check. Consider, you are correct. Okay, so consider means thinking? To think about. To think. Okay, okay I wasn't sure. You're right, though. You said it. You told me to think about something, right? Uh huh. You have to be sure of yourself. Okay, so what, what word does this picture represent? This picture represents the word spirit. Spirit. Why do you say it spirit? Be okay. Uh, it, it looks like the little girl has the spirit of giving okay. something. Very good. You do. There's a special part of your body, right? What's the definition of spirit? Will you look it up spirit. in your dictionary, your personal dictionary? Yeah. Do I look at it? Yes. Okay. What is the definition of spirit? Spirit, a feeling you... Okay, no, that's not it. The special part of someone's personality. Okay. So she may be 
What's her special part of her personality? The giving. Okay. Giving. So is there another word in your uh, vocabulary words that means giving? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay, and what is that word? Generous. Generous. Okay. And what does generous mean? Willing to give more. Very good. So, what word do you think this picture represents? Generous. Okay, in a complete sentence? Uh, the picture represents the word generous. Okay, because? Because uh, she is giving something away. Okay, very good. So, let's check. Generous. Very good. Okay, so let's go to the next picture. Okay, what word does this picture represent? This picture represents the word load. Why do you think this picture represents the word load? Because, uh, okay, this picture represents the word load because it, the car looks like it's loaded with a lot of fruit. And what kind of fruit is this car loaded? Uh, apples. Okay. The car is loaded with apples. Very good. Okay. So let's see if you're correct. Load is correct. Okay, so let's go to the next picture. What word does this picture represent? Okay, that represent okay, this picture represents the word mean. Why does this picture represent the word mean? The, okay, the picture represents the word mean because it looks, like, it looks like the guy is being mean to the boy. Very good. So the picture does represent mean, correct. Okay. And what word does this picture represent? did you say at first? Spirit. Yeah. Spirit, okay. Why do you think it's spirit? Is it something what's special or what's the definition of spirit? Uh, it's um, the special part of special parts of someone's personality. Does anything look special about anyone's personality in that picture? No. Okay, so let's look at other words okay, that I we have in. Think it is talked about. Is um settle? Why do you say it? Settle. Do you need to look at the definition? Read the definition out loud, please. To end an argument. Okay, so what is an argument? What happens when you have an argument? People get mad. Okay, why do they get mad? Um, because they're arguing about something that happened. Okay, how, how did you begin the sentence? Okay, this word represents the, this picture represents the word settle. Uh -huh. um, because? Because it looks like they are arguing about something. Okay, but when you settle something, what happens? Do they, you use the beginning, middle? They end the argument. Okay, so it seems like they may have settled the argument. Okay. Why do you think they're, they have settled an argument? Okay, it, okay. it looks like 
you have several um, arguments because the girl and the boy are looking a lot. They're looking to the woman. Okay. Maybe like if they are not sure of something. Okay. Or they're looking at the woman. Maybe they say, I'm sorry. Okay, let's not fight. Okay, let's figure out. We're going to go out to eat to Chick-fil-A instead of Wendy's. Because maybe the other uh, man and woman wanted to go to Chick-fil-A and they wanted to go to Wendy's and so they figured out, okay, we're going to eat here instead. Okay? Very good. So let's see if that this word represents settle. You are correct. It is settle. Why do you think it's spirit? Can I look at the definition? Yes. Okay, spirit is the perception of someone. Um, okay, I think this picture represents spirit. Or she may be something about spiritual of the picture, so it may represent spirit. Okay. Maybe her mind is her special part of her body, so she's relaxing her mind. Okay. Okay, and what picture, what word does this picture represent? Proof. Proof. Why would you say proof? Um, what is the definition of proof? Information to show the truth. So where do you think they're at? They are like in... Um, I mean, they're, they're in... In an office? Okay, they're in an office. Do you think someone did something wrong? Or is he getting a promotion? I think someone did something wrong and they are arguing or... Okay. So, he may have to show proof that maybe he didn't do something uh -huh. or he um, has to show proof that he was really at work from 8 till 10 and he, he forgot to clock out. Okay? Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. So let's see if this word represents the word proof. That is correct. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. So, one question. How did this activity help you learn more about the vocabulary word? Okay. This 
activity helped me to learn more, learn more of the vocabulary words because it's going to make me remember about the definition of them. Okay, very good. What helps you remember the words? The the pictures and that we talk about it. Very good. Okay. Now, what do you think we're gonna do uh, next in class? Okay, the student will demonstrate the synthesis of chapter one vocabulary. Okay, but. Or. What did we do already? What was our first thing? Stating the right vocabulary word that represents the picture. Okay, so we've done that. And so what's the next thing we need to do? Discussing word families. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out our vocabulary power one uh, books and then we'll go ahead and work on some vocabulary activities.